more shall glisten alone. What's this? A pair of red snakes. Could they have brought Mr. Yuan here? I should go talk to someone at that shrine. Did they wreck this place too? A flower vase perhaps? Nothing out of the ordinary. What could this be? What could this be? Nothing out of there's nothing in I'd best not touch this. 
What's this? What's this? Guess I'll take it. the wrong guy. Lies! I know you're with the Red Snakes! <laughs> red Snakes? Uh, hold on. I'm looking for those guys. <sighs> what? Can you tell me what happened here? I, I'm sorry. I've made a grave mistake. What did those jerks do? The Red Snakes. They came here and barged into Leo Zhao Shrine. And then they stole the shrine's treasure. They don't know when to stop. It's a treasure that has been kept at this shrine for many, many years. <sighs> I'd like to ask you about the boat. The one at the pier over there. The red snakes came here on that boat a while back. Did you see them? Yes, I did see them. And I saw them dragging two men along with them. I knew it. Mr. Yun was here. Did you see where they went? That way. I see. And, if you've got time, please have a look at the shrine in the back. Huh? This is an absolutely beautiful shrine. People who visit often leave offerings with their names on them. The Red Snakes haven't managed to tear up the inside. Feel free to have a look. is
It's okay. Please take this as an apology. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Shirling. Ling Shirling. I'm Ryo. Ryo Hazuki. It's nice to meet you, Shirling. When you decide to deal with those red snakes, please let me know. I'd rather not get you involved. But I cannot forgive them for what they did. I want to give them a taste of their own medicine. Yeah, I know how you must feel. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen any of the red snakes? Around? We sell fish here. If you want snakes, find a snake shop. I'm looking for some thugs that call themselves the red snakes. I can't help you there. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. Need something? Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Red snakes? You mean those thugs? Can't imagine them ever coming here to fish. Okay, thanks. A game can't hurt. I'll pass. What about this one? Interesting. And here I took you for a little guppy. Only a seasoned angler would I that set. Really? But I want you to use it. Only someone like you will feel the difference. Fair warning, it's more expensive than the rest. So how about it? Give it a shot? Sorry, I'm done renting for the day. Should have come earlier if you wanted to fish. About some Peking duck. I promise it's delicious. If you come to Nyawu without trying our Peking duck, you'll regret it. Uh, Once you've had it, you get a certificate. A certificate? Have a seat right now, and you'll have the unique honor of being our 2,005,851st customer. Oh, uh, okay. 
Can I ask you a question? Hmm? What is it? Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Red snakes? Oh, you mean those bugs? Can you tell me anything about them? I remember one saying something about them. When? He's one of my employees. Where can I find this when? One is in the mountains nearby, catching ducks. In the mountains? If you go down that road, you'll see a mountain trail to the right. Okay, I'll head over. When you're done with your business, be sure to come and eat. This is Duck Heaven. So this is where I'll find when. Sorry, but are you Wen? That I am. I have some questions. Well, that all depends on whether you're willing to help me out a little first. Uh, I can see where this is going. Whatever you want <clears throat> after that. Uh, we catch some sure. ducks. The ducks went into hiding. <sighs> Mind finding ten of them for me? Uh, I don't I've see. got other business to attend to. So I'll be counting on you. Guess I've got no choice. Oh, here we go. I can just catch them. <laughs> My reactions are so bad. <laughs> I gotta pick this up. the reflexes of a sloth. Mm. I'm so much better at this on Dreamcast. I don't know if it's... They've made it shorter timing or what? Split second too slow. There we go. Overall, the QTEs I don't feel are anywhere near as good as they were in the first two games. But you know, limited budget, limited time. Two more. I 
Thanks for the help. You're pretty good. You're Ran pretty good. You ducks before, have you? No, but I have experience with <laughs> chickens. Chickens? <laughs> <laughs> You're a funny one. So, what did you want to ask me? Someone at the restaurant told me that you have seen the red snakes. Red snakes? Leave me out of that conversation, young man. So you know about them? I've seen them around New Paradise. New Paradise? Yeah, they come and go around that place with all the games. Adventure area, huh? Will that be all? I'm busy too, you know. Sure. Oh, almost forgot. There's your reward. Oh, I didn't get paid for this. I'm always hiring if you're in need of a job. Thank you very much. Pretty handy. Alright, that implies I can earn money, that's good. And we know where the red snakes hang out now. It sounds like it's gonna be either a gambling den or an arcade. Herb collecting is uh, surprisingly calming in this game. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, very nice. They are easier to spot at night because of the red outline. But overall it's just a pretty relaxing thing to do. It's a nice little encouragement to check out the beautiful environments in Shenmue 3. It's a bit odd coming from the previous games where you didn't really have collectibles as such outside of the uh, the gacha machines. But um, I don't mind it, I think it's a nice little addition to the game. I'm not so hot on all the, the changes made in this game, but this, this was one that I think is not too bad. In fact, it's kind of nice. I really like this, and I really like searching for the chobus, I think they're called, in the, uh, in the shops. Again, it's just a nice little incentive to actually explore a bit more. Whereas in the first two games, you didn't have all that much reason to go... Oop, there's another one. To go exploring um, out, you know, after you after you found where all the gambling places were and um, you know important sort of characters or toys uh, toy machines and there wasn't really much reason to go and explore, which is a shame because Shemu Two had such richly detailed areas and there wasn't a whole lot of reason to go to them outside of flavor or just for the fun of talking to people. Uh, like for example, there's a whole electronic section. Um, electronic stores and um, and shops and all of them sort of didn't really have much purpose outside of just the novelty of speaking to the shopkeepers and getting some text or you know getting some extra clues I guess but they could be bypassed entirely so I feel like these sort of things are a nice little addition to just give the player some more incentive to to look in places they otherwise wouldn't, or talk to people they otherwise wouldn't uh, talk to. Even if it's not story specific. In fact, it's probably better it's not story specific, because if you try and tie everything back into the story, it gets a bit tiresome. Or you can end up shoehorning in things that don't really need to be part of the main, the main drag. Alright, now I gotta find this new paradise. I'm guessing we can't go in here yet. Oh, 
That is a nice view. The scenery in Shenmue 3 is consistently one of the best things about the game. They've absolutely nailed it. Well, I still find Niwao is a little bit strange in terms of... It feels a bit too modern for the 1980s in, in China. I'm curious as as to whether it was always a, a tourist trap sort of area because it feels very fake compared to the first two games and I'm not sure if that's intentional because it was it was very touristy but uh, you know places like this with the shrines and the more traditional areas are, are very very well done look at this beautiful and I can't go in looks like I can't get through here it might be time to call it a night actually, it's starting to get, what time is it, 8.15 8 in the game? Maybe this person knows where New Paradise is. Excuse me. I'll be right with you. Do you know the way to New Paradise? It is almost directly ahead. You will have to take a slight detour and make your way to the river. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Excuse me. Hello. If you want to win some, you gotta dim some. Do you know the way to New Paradise? The only way to get there now is to go down to the river and through Vendor Avenue. Got it. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. I'll pass. Excuse me. Hello there. I take my business seriously. I only sell quality statues and fittings. Do you know where New Paradise is? New Paradise, huh? New Paradise is up above the promenade. There is an arcade at the top of the promenade. It's across from there. Okay, thanks. you like all of my snacks are delicious Good wine. 
It's really late. I think I'll head back to the hotel. Hey, Xinhua. Hi, Ryo. I found an abandoned boat with a red snake on it at the Sonori Road Pier. A red snake? You don't think... The red snakes might have brought Yuren here. Yes, Ryo. I had a feeling. I paid the shrine a visit in case anyone had seen anything. And? And I nearly got attacked with a broom. What? The shrine maiden there mistook me for one of the red snakes and tried to chase me off. The maiden did that? How awful. She quickly realized her mistake, but it seems the red snakes attacked Liu Zhao shrine. How low will they go? The shrine maiden was devastated too. I wish we could help them. Me too. That poor maiden. Leo. I'm going to go back. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should try one of the long distance calls. I haven't done that yet. Gotta be Nozomi. Hello? Harasaki. Yes? It's me, Hazuki. Hazuki? Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, oh, uh, I'm fine. But, uh, is something wrong? I, uh, wasn't expecting to hear from you. I see. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. I'm thrilled to hear from you. I see. Where are you now? I see. Still in China? Yeah. You aren't getting into trouble, are you? Is everything okay? Yeah. There's nothing to worry about. I have Shenhua with me, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh oh. Shen... what? A friend I made in Guiling. A friend, huh? Yeah, it really helps having a local around. Yeah, I can see that. I've finally made some friends in Canada and I'm having more fun at school. That's good to hear. Harasaki. Your travels are much harder than mine. I doubt you're having much fun at all. I'll be fine, Harasaki. And I do find time to have fun now and then. Really? Sure. <laughs> I see unusual things and learn new techniques. All of that is fun for me. Oh, I'm relieved to hear that. This friend is that Shenhua, right? Yeah, pretty much. We're like traveling buddies right now. I see. You must really get along well. I guess so. Is Shenhua a martial artist like you? No, not really. I see. I'd love to meet this Shenhua someday. Yeah, that'd be fun. I hope you get the chance to. Me too. I'd be curious to meet someone you get along with so well. Is Shenhua anything like Sakurada? What do you mean? Or maybe Shenhua is more like Goro from the harbor. <laughs> no, not exactly. Something wrong, Hazuki? Shenhua is... She's what? Actually... I see. Can you call me back later? Sure. I can do that. There is so much more I want to ask you. All right. Talk soon.
That's a nice little piece of nostalgia. Interesting development as well. If she's jealous of Shenhua. So I was curious as to where the story was going to go in terms of the relationship between Shenhua and Ryo versus Nozomi and Ryo. Well, actually, before I go, steal some fruit. Looks good. Guess I'll take it. So, tomorrow morning I gotta go find New Paradise. I feel like I've come past it once before at least. Yes. You need to... Uh, no. Uh. Morning. Be careful. Hmm? Those... Yeah, you should... Right. Stay away. Then come... F okay. Step, huh? a little bit of martial Maybe arts training. Helps to level up every now and then. Again, this is something I understand was probably a budgetary constraint, but I really did prefer the the training in Shenmue 1 and 2 a lot more. But almost certainly this was a budget constraint compared to the well, not well. Sparring was, you know, better. Well, combat was better in Shimmy One and Two, but even the the training of just doing moves repeatedly and you know up, upgrading the moves individually was a lot more fun, or a lot more. I don't know, made more sense, I guess. It felt a lot more authentic than just these sort of mini games. I'm doing pretty well. Coming to this place. Ooh. 
I should do some sparring actually. Because I need to get my attack up and learn the new technique. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice your kung fu on a wooden dummy or polish your techniques by sparring. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? You've come to spar, eh? There just so happens to be someone waiting for a partner. This fighter is Red Wolf. Now give it your all. Red Wolf, a uh, dragon. Do you want to keep going? Come again. You're welcome here anytime. Animations leave something to be desired, but that wasn't bad. That moves you up to fourth dawn. I have to admit, you have some impressive moves. Oh, what's this? Hmm. A part-time job. Ah, oh, forklift time. 
this guy will know. Pardon me. What you need? Do you know the way to New Paradise? You like taking long walks, don't you? I see. Just head straight up the road past the fruit shop. Okay, great. Many thanks. Excuse me. Ugh, finally! I'm here for the job. What do I do? My forklift operator got some kind of stomach bug. I can't move this all by myself. I'll pay you so. And all I have to do is move this stuff, right? Then you'll help? Yeah. <laughs> Please! Uh, I love the Hong brothers. Sure. Such simple oh, character, but they really great. use the help. Let's get started then. Oh, this music Take so those good. items to the ship using the forklift. Here's the map. I'm counting on you. this way. Here we go. It's better now I can actually see. just pays and if it's I mean surely it's got to be more than wood chopping 
It seems to take a little bit longer. So this is a very precarious way to be transporting a, a vase. What is this getting called? Nothing. Come on, Shenmu. Yes, you can stack them. Excellent. Now I've got 5 out of 5. If I get 6, do I get like a bonus or something? I'm guessing maybe 5 is the quota, like in the first game. get this one in time. It's going to be a race against the clock. Ah, uh, yes. That's precarious. But it's delivered. It's seven crates. You can't argue with that. Okay, that is good. It's better than chopping wood. Great job, buddy. This port is crazy, but you still met the quota. I'm gonna have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. Come on back, you hear? Okay. 
I'll see you later. Looking at how you're built, I'd say you do martial arts. It might be a strange way of thanking you, but uh, I'll teach yes. you a special technique. Meet me at the pier at 5 p.m. Back here at 5 p.m. Excuse me. Can I buy some black garlic? Welcome. I've got the sweetest, juiciest fruit in town. Oh, there's no garlic. This is all rubbish. This is rubbish fruit. What kind of medicine do you need? I'll buy a set of herbs from you if you've got them. It's all highly effective. See if this woman knows. Excuse me. Where new what paradise is. Our mooncakes are sweet and delicious. Want to try one? Do you know where New Paradise is? New Paradise. New Paradise is up past the promenade. If you make your way up the promenade, there should be an arcade. It's right across from that. Okay. Thanks. Uh, no, I've seen this arcade before. Here it is. Oh, it's martial arts shop. I haven't spoken to this guy yet. Excuse me. I can handle all your martial arts scroll and dummy needs. Looking for anything specific? Come by again sometime.
I shouldn't go in without permission. Yeah, this is the sort of thing I was talking about before. It just feels kind of fake. I, I don't know. Like this doesn't feel. Oh, I feel kind of stuck. Here we go. Like the neon lights, I guess. Yeah, this thing, like boxing. Or is it bong? Or is bong? It's bong. I'm, I'm too tired for this. But yeah, like it just feels. Like it looks out of place. Like they've slapped neon lights on a big temple. And this burger shop as well. Like, I mean, is this meant to be in the ice cream place? Is it all meant to be kind of like a tacky tourist destination or new paradise? I, I don't know. Is this it? Because otherwise, like all the waterfront looks very authentic. That looks exactly like you know something from the real world. But a lot of it just feels very strange. Like they've just sort of done placeholder or I don't know. Or they're trying to be funny in some ways. It's a bit odd. Like it's meant to be tongue in cheek, but it doesn't really work. It might be that it's actually accurate and, and the place looked like this in the 80s and still does. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it became a bit of a tourist destination and they capitalized on it. Now, where is Chobu? Surely he'd be one of the ice creams. Excuse me. Hello there. Want to try my ice cream? There's something I want to ask. Have you seen any of the red snakes? I haven't seen them. They came by, ate a rich serving of my earnings, and left. Got it. Thanks a lot. So you were here. Excuse me. Hello there. Would you like a photograph? I shoot everything from scenery to portraits of beautiful women. When's VF6? Your guess is as good as mine, mister. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Red snakes? Oh, those guys. You know about them? Oh, yes, and New Paradise is in trouble now that they're running amok. So anyway, where can I find these red snakes? They sometimes visit the Golden Goose, but I haven't seen them so far today. Okay, thanks. Golden Goose it is. Oh, there's Ren. Well, that's a giveaway. Pardon me. What can I do for you? Have you seen any of the red snakes? I'm not at liberty to answer that question. It's about the red snakes. 
My apologies. I cannot answer that. I see. Ren. Yo! Nice work, man. Hey. <laughs> Later. What? I thought I have more to say to him. Ah. Look at these Becca Pachinkos. What game is this? Um. Greetings. Welcome to the Golden Goose, your palace of pleasure. Ah, uh, yes, that people who participated in the Kickstarter. No thanks. So I think there was if a certain tier. If you paid a certain amount, you got to be a um, a lucky hit stand. Uh, what are these? Turtle racing. Uh, I feel like I should do this at least once. Turtle races. This is our prized turtle race. Pride and turtle Please race. Please enjoy yourself. How much will you wager? Well then, on which turtle will you place your bet? Now, I went to a fortune teller and my lucky colour was red, so... Gotta go with red. Let's see if my button mashing is good enough. Let's go red. Oh, that boost wasn't as much as I was hoping. You can do it! Uh, this race feels longer than the last ones. Text, yes, thank you. <laughs> I gotta come on, red. No, oh, you let me down. Uh, that is regrettable, but don't give up, sir. The next race could be your chance. How oh, much will you wait? Geez, do I want to do this or not? Back. That's too taxing on my uh, fingers. Oh, oh, that's tiring. Uh, hi. The general public can step uh, no further. A gambling addiction. I see. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna have to get down there at some point. I can tell. Um, well, I've got twenty-one thousand tokens at the moment. So that's the equivalent of like maybe, geez, uh, it maybe two hundred and ten dollars, which is ultimately not a lot. Excuse me. This is roll it on top. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? My apologies, sir. I cannot offer comment on that request. I see. Here we go. What? This is how you make the money. This is Flower Bird, Wind and Moon. Would you like to try? It will be an exquisite time, I promise. Also, why is Bernie I telling me to go to bed in the Virtual thoughts. Revival Discord? All right. Which do you bet on? Flower, Bird, Wind or Moon? Put it all on Flower, my good man. Goes. Hmm. 
Are you a fan of the old Shenmue games, mister? Yeah! Oh really? I was a big fan, I loved Shemu 1 and 2, still do, played them again earlier this year. Splendid. You won. You are good at this, sir. Oh you never had a dream card. I suppose the uh, the good thing Not is right you can now. get if you ever want to go back and play any of those games now, they're pretty easy to get a hold of. Most of them have been ported. But um, no, Shenmue 1 and 2 definitely very unique games. I, I really enjoyed them a lot. They're, um, they're a lot of fun, I think. Shenmue 3 is good as well. I don't think it's as good as the first two, but I mean, that was always going to be a very difficult task. But uh, I think it's a worthy follow-up, especially for the budget it had. Too spoiled. Well, oh, how much have you played of them? I, I don't think it's a matter of aging. I think that they've always been a bit divisive. It's not a case of, of they, you know... I mean, the games don't change. Um, even back when they came out, they were a bit... Uh, well, how would you say it? Well, I guess divisive. Beats of Rage, there's a reference for you. I need good animation to get involved. That's interesting. Um... Oh, Shenmue 1 and 2 I thought had pretty good animation, for the martial arts especially. The walking animation was is probably what you're referring to there, that was a bit janky maybe? But I mean, it is what it is. I don't know, the martial arts was good animation in Shenmue 1 I thought. Excuse me. Care for a drink? I can prepare one right away. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? We prefer to serve customers who enjoy their drinks at a reasonable volume. And hmm. we pay the price for that, I'll have you know. Okay, thanks. Lately they've taken to passing by here en route to the prize exchange. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Oh, this is the guy from the Buddha store. So this is what he's doing during the day. Give it a try. I'll pass. Yeah, uh, toy capsules aren't as much fun as the originals, because the uh, the originals had obviously the Virtual Fighter and all the other Sega games as things you can collect. Whereas there's a lot more just generic sort of toys in this one, probably because they agreements with Sega. Whenever I see someone playing Shemu, they're never following the story and playing mini games. Oh, really? I mean, the mini games are kind of fun. They're an easy distraction. Excuse me. But I find following the story is um, the floor and get some a lot of fun, and I actually really like how the story progresses in the Shenmue games. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? They come around every now and again. Don't get mixed up with them. They seem to be after Yi Rua at the prize exchange on the second floor. Okay, thanks. So, so you haven't actually played the game, or...? I mean, I'd give it a shot. Well, it's up to you, really. I'm not going to try and force you to play it, but... Um, you can't get a great idea of the game off playthroughs if they're just playing the mini-games. Um, honestly, I mean, I don't know if it's the sort of game you would like or not. It's... It's not for everyone, but it is quite fun. It's, um... It's mainly an adventure game. A lot of it's talking to people, unraveling clues, uh, exploring the town, and then of course you have some fights in between, but it's not... There's not an awful lot of fights, it's... Uh, they're pretty sparingly and they're all pitched. But um, the combat system in 1 and 2 is really fun, based on Virtual Fighter. And then the minigames come into it in uh, various points, like the forklift driving and everything. Yeah, it's not it's not for everyone. It's um it's not an action game per se. 
I think the people who would like it are the sort of people who who enjoy um, some of the old school adventure games like Grim Fandango, Monkey Island, all that sort of thing. I mean, it's certainly not Yakuza. Excuse me. Come on up. The prize exchange is right here. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Sometimes they come here. They always say really disgusting things. I only put up with it because it's better than having them trash my shop. I see. It sounds like they cause major trouble at the Muren Cafe. So I'm walking on eggshells here. Muren Cafe, huh? Okay. Thanks. Muren Cafe. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should do a prize. Actually, no, I'm not going to cash out my tokens just yet, because I... I'm pretty sure I'm going to need money later on, so I'll hang on to it until then. Now, where is the Murin Cafe? Let's see if this fella knows. Excuse me. Make your way up to the second floor and get yourself some prizes. Where is the Murin Cafe? It's just over the bridge in front of us. Didn't you see it? You'll see Murin Cafe carved into the bridge's handrail. Got it. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the tip. Wait, hang on a second. Murin Cafe. Oh wait, is it? Uh, that's Mel's Cafe. There we go. Martial arts hanging up. Excuse me. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Muren Cafe. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? The red snakes? Ah, those pests. What happened? They really made life hell for us recently. They just tore through here, either drunk or drunk on power. They knocked all the dummies over and flipped tables. It was horrible. If Mr. Sue hadn't shown up, who knows how bad things would have gotten. Mr. Sher? The martial arts teacher at Liu Ha Hall. He tossed them out of here in no time. Serves them right for picking on us. Mr. Sher at Liu Ha Hall. I've right, got our next, our next thread to follow. I think I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for tuning in, Mister. It was uh, it was nice chatting to you. Um, <laughs> I wish I could stay up longer and keep playing, but I'm going to be up early tomorrow, and I am coming up a long week. Um, I'll try and play some more over the weekend. I was hoping to finish before Christmas, and I don't know if I'll get a chance to, but. Be nice if I can. Um, now, let me see. While we've got someone watching. Let me find a nice... A good pal. Oh, NYC Furby's uh, live. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Farewell.